it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net. And today I want to do two things. The first one is to invite you to our next live class, which will be this Saturday, October 14th at 11 o'clock a.m. New York time. So make sure to check what time that is in your own time zone. If you click on the link in the video description or if you visit EspressoEnglish.net slash live, there's a link there where you can convert the time to your own time zone. Okay, so make sure you visit EspressoEnglish.net slash live and check the time for uh, wherever you are in the world. But I hope you'll join me for the live class. The live class will be at EspressoEnglish.net slash live. We will have a live chat, and the theme of the class, again, is Saturday Q&A, so it will be question and answer. I will be answering some questions from students like you, and the theme this week is grammar. So please send me your grammar questions. You can post them in the comments to this video, and I will collect all the questions and select a few of them to cover during the lesson. I hope you'll join us uh, this weekend, this Saturday, but if not, of course, I will post the recording on YouTube and on Facebook. So last week's live class was all about pronunciation. Again, if you missed that one, you can go watch the recording on uh, my YouTube channel or it's in my Facebook page also. Uh, and I wanted to go over five words that were suggested by students in the comments which I didn't get a chance to cover in the live class. So today we'll go over how to pronounce these words and you can practice with me. The first one is typically. This is the adverb form of the adjective typical. Okay, so typical has the, uh, the stress on the first syllable, tip. Uh, the, the Y here is pronounced I, just like the I in hit and um, tip, like English tips, okay? But when we have the adverb form with LY at the end, something interesting happens. So in the adjective form, typical, uh, we have three syllables. But in the adverb form, it looks like we should say typically, but we don't. We actually kind of eliminate this A and we say it more like typically, typically, okay? You can see it just goes right to the Lee, okay? And the stress is still on the tip, okay? So the pronunciation is typically, typically. Next word is chaos. This word uh, is a little confusing when you look at the spelling. I believe it comes from Greek and English uh, adopted it. The CH in this case is pronounced like a K sound, okay? So it's chaos. And the A is a long A, just like in the word name. So this first syllable is pronounced just like the K in the word okay, okay? Chaos. It's two syllables. It's a short word, but there's actually two syllables here. Chaos. And the stress is on the first one. Chaos. Chaos. Got it? Next, we have a long word, circumstances. How many syllables does this have? Circumstances. Four syllables. And the stress is on the first one, sir. This er is the same er sound like in the word bird and were, past tense, was and were. Sir. And I think it's really helpful when pronouncing long words to really focus on where the stress is. So it's on the first syllable. Circumstances. Just put a little more emphasis on this one. Sir, come, stand. This is similar to the word stand, but without the D at the end. Stand. Sis. Circumstances. There's a little secondary stress on the stand syllable, so you can think of it like circumstances. Circumstances. And what I suggest with long words is that you practice 
just like I was doing now, uh, saying the syllables with a little pause in between them and then gradually say it faster and faster until you can get to normal speed. So, circumstances, 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 circumstances. Got it? Well, let's move on to the next one. Controversial. This, is, this word is interesting. It's the adjective form of the word controversy. Controversy is a noun, but there are some interesting pronunciation differences between them. So don't look at this for a moment. In the word controversy, the stress is on the con, controversy. But in controversial, the stress is on the verb, controversial. Four syllables again controversial. And you also might notice that the S here, the S-I, doesn't really sound like an S anymore. It sounds more like sh, shol, shol, controversial. And finally, we have the word reliable. Reliable is the adjective form of the verb rely. If you can rely on someone or something, it means you can depend on that person or thing. So rely has two syllables and the stress is on lie. To form the adjective, we just add a bowl. That's two more syllables for a total of four. And the stress is still on the syllable lie. Reliable. 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 Make sure that it's clear this distinction between the lie and a. Uh. Some students kind of combine those two syllables together and then the word sounds strange. You want to, even though you say it fast, you still want to make the syllables clear. Reliable. 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 Okay? Uh, let's go back and review all of these and I'd like you to listen to them and repeat after me. I will say each word twice. Typically, typically, chaos, chaos, circumstances, circumstances, controversial, controversial, reliable, reliable. Good job. If you want more pronunciation practice, uh, including a really detailed explanation of all the sounds in American English, as well as a uh, word stress and sentence stress, linking and intonation, then check out my American English pronunciation course. You can just visit espressoenglish.net, click on courses and look for American English pronunciation. It has a lot of listen and repeat exercises and at the end of the course, there's an evaluation where you can send me a recording of your speaking and I will correct your pronunciation and give you some more tips. Uh, I hope you enjoyed today's pronunciation practice and I hope you will also join me for the live class on Saturday, October 14th at 11 o'clock in the morning, New York time. And don't forget to send me your grammar questions by posting them in the comments. If you enjoyed this lesson, please share it so that other English students can also benefit. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.